Sticking with the Royals now, and King Charles is on the front of the mail this morning, uh, photographed with European Commissioner President Ursula von der Leyen, as they ask whether it's a meeting that he'll come to regret. Well, Royal Editor Russell Myers joins me now. Um, interesting, isn't it, that these questions are being asked of King Charles? Do you think he's been put in a difficult position? Well, good morning, Lorraine. Well, it's a big question, of course, because uh, King Charles normally meets uh, statesmen and women. He meets presidents and world leaders. And yet here he is meeting the president of the EU Commission. And Ursula von der Leyen is not a world leader. But of course, the argument is that she does have considerable power. Now, it comes, of course, on the backdrop of this historic Brexit deal that was uh, also underwritten yesterday by Rishi Sunak and uh, Miss Ursula von der Leyen. And, uh, and then she popped over to Windsor Castle for some tea. Now, we don't know what they spoke about. I imagine it was uh, climate change, the environment. They're both very passionate about, their, about that. But there was a bit of toing and froing about who had asked for the meeting. Was it number 10? Was it the EU Commission? Or was it the King himself? I suppose we'll never know because everyone's being a bit tight-lipped about it. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Now, look, Camilla will have a title, obviously has a title now, but after the coronation, it would seem no longer concert. She's just going to be referred to as the Queen. Well, again, I mean, from one controversy to another, it seems, because, I mean, you remember way back when, before they were even married, we were talking about uh, titles for Camilla, and it was uh, assumed that she would be princess consort. Indeed, that's what the palace said at the time. Now, to be fair to Camilla, she has worked incredibly, incredibly hard to sort of work not only on her own PR, but really sort of assign herself to causes that are very, very dear to her heart. We've seen her work working incredibly hard with literacy, especially children's literacy, the uh, domestic violence arena. She's a celebrated campaigner. Um, then we had the Queen, the late Queen, of course, in her Jubilee message, said that Camilla would be known as Queen Consort. Now it seems that slowly but surely the palace yeah. had kind of dropping out the consort. We had it last week when they were introducing one of her projects. It would just be known as the Queen's Reading Room. And I think that uh, it is a little bit more palatable. Now, we've definitely moved on from the days that uh, Camilla was public enemy number one. And, uh, and, you know, it is right and proper that she is the Queen. So I think that title will, will stick, to be honest. Yeah, I think they've been calling her the Queen for, for quite some time. Um, within the palace, as you say, they have been they have been referring her to that. I, I still think it might not go down all that well with some sections of the, you know, of the public who are, are still very pro Princess Diana, even though she has been dead for for such a long time. She always said she would never be queen, mind you, didn't she, Diana? Now talking yeah, about the talking yeah. about the coronation, love. Um, still speculation about is Harry going to be there? Is he not? Does he want, want an apology? And if he wants an apology, what what does he actually want them to say sorry for? Because there's quite a lot of um, gripes in that book. Um, that that could be quite a long session of apologies. If it goes ahead. Yeah, well, I think that's quite an understatement, to be honest, because, um, I mean, this has been going on longer than the Brexit saga, whether Harry will he or won't he attend the coronation. Indeed, it has been widely reported. I mean, he alluded to it to himself in his interviews for the promotional tour of his memoir, Spare, that he was sort of seeking reconciliation, but that had to come with some caveats from his family. He believes that certainly his father, Charles, and brother William had sort of behaved uh, dishonourably towards him. He was sort of forced out of the royal family. However, I think he will be waiting an awful long time if that's his caveat for coming to the coronation because uh, there's an awful lot of business to get uh, through the door before the coronation. We've only got less than 10 weeks. So um, I think Harry will come. I don't think he'll pass up the opportunity, but he might be waiting a little bit longer for said apology. Exactly. He should be there. He absolutely should be there. Him and his whole family should definitely be there. And you would like to think that they would be able to build bridges. I'm not sure though um no. on prince harry now this is a really interesting one um you can correct me if i'm wrong but it, it seems to me you can buy for 20 pounds <laughs> you can you can log in and listen to him giving you a, a a session on mental health is that right what what's the deal 
Well, let me uh, sort of uh, inform you because, yes, under £20 for the princely sum of £17.70, you can log on and jo sort of join a live stream. Now, Penguin Random House are running this in conjunction with Prince Harry. He is going to be sort of delivering sort of a mental health wellness seminar. Uh, it's going to be just online. You will get a free copy of his book with the ticket price. So uh, a bargain for some, um, may believe. So, uh, I mean, this is part of uh, sort of his, his worldwide talk tour, isn't it? He's still speaking about the royal family. He's still speaking about the book. So it brings you back to this apology. Now, will the family think that he should kind of put up and shut up uh, if he wants to try and uh, sort of make reconciliation with his family? I don't think this is the way to go about it. But I suppose there's money to be made when he's still talking about his book, isn't there? Right. OK, so the £17.70 that you pay, you get a copy of the book. But do we know where that yep. money is going to? I mean, well, no. So, so we have reached out to the, the to the publishers, and they uh, they're a bit uh, candid, really. There's also a bit coy, rather, saying uh, that that it's uh, it's all encompassing in his sort of book deal. Um, we do know how Prince Harry is giving some money to charity. There was a percentage of the profits going to uh, charities like Centre Vale yep. that he set up in Lesotho. So. Um, uh, you know, it's a bit of the waters are a bit muddied with this, but uh, go and check it out yourself. It's on March the fourth if you fancy listening to a bit more of Prince Harry. I think I've had enough. Thanks for me it's anyway. Good. Just for you know, everybody, somebody else might do it. If you want to pay your seventeen pounds seventy p, that is up to you. Russell, thank you, thank you so much.